All right, guys, welcome back to Yankee Bravo Aviation. This is going to be part two of our Bahamas series. Um, have y'all ever seen the movie Hangover when he calls and goes, yeah, we screwed up? <laughs> That's how I feel about the amount of fishing gear I have. Um, and I thought it, but I didn't say it. And now maybe it's sinking in of everything. Yeah, and this isn't all of it. I have more coming tomorrow. That we can't return. Yeah, I mean, it's... It's coming, so, and it's going. But anyway, so we have 954 pounds of useful load in the Moonium 20C. Um, that's the most recent up-to-date useful load that we got pro probably two years ago. We haven't added anything to the plane since then, so we're good there. Um, fishing with, with Bray and I in the plane and full fuel, that leaves us about 320 pounds, give or take. I think we're going to be fine. Uh, what we're going to run into more is really space, volume versus weight, I think. Probably. I don't know. It depends on how we're able to fit, fit things in like nooks and crannies. Yep. So, and then, you know, there's a couple of things that, you know, when you're flying over water that long, uh, you know, at a minimum, you're supposed to have U.S. Coast Guard uh, approved life vest for everybody on board. Um, I think we should bring a volleyball too. <laughs> Bree wants to bring a volleyball and name it Wilson. Like, you yeah, know, just in case. <laughs> my God. So, um, that's scary. That but, won't be that much weight. Yeah. I, what I want to do is I want to get two life rafts. I want to get one for her and one for me and then have a 500 foot rope. So that way if we do go down, she can be in her own life raft and she's just far enough away. I can't hear her yelling at me. That's why I need Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> I talk to Wilson. But anyways, guys, I'm going to go over a little bit of a rundown of what we're taking down. Um, and then we'll do a quick time lapse of how we get all of this into a small package that will fit in the plane. I do apologize. The rods that we're taking down are already in the plane. Um, I built a custom rod rack, a.k.a. I put a piece of nylon strap across to keep it from getting to my ear this year. Um... So they're already in the plane and loaded, but all the reels and everything are here. They all have corresponding rods, obviously. So I'm going to go through a little bit of a rundown of what we got here. There's Clover. She's not coming. So over here we have all of our Wahoo rigs, our Mahi rigs, our wide trackers, all of our tools, different uh, strength uh, monofilament. Actually, that's fluorocarbon. Then we have all of our daisy chains, our good old trusty sea witches, more daisy chains, a different variety of plugs and other skirts to go on with the ballyhoo. Over here, we have our 50 wides. We have our TLD 25s. Then we have our mahi rigs over here. Every single one's gonna have a corresponding rod that goes with it. And then, all of this is bait. These are all, Fresh Ballyhoo, they're all select size. This is some mackerel that we caught uh, a couple weeks ago. We're gonna use that for chunk bait and for the stingrays. And if I'm guessing right, there's more up here too. So it's gonna be fun. If I can't fit it in the fridge, I can't imagine how I'm gonna fit it in the airplane. So how we're gonna break it down is all the reels are gonna go into in here in this uh, bag here. Then we're gonna take all the lures, put it in that bag, and then obviously the wide, uh, the wide trackers, uh, they'll just get stuffed in wherever. All of the bait is gonna fit into this Yeti. We're gonna have O2. Um, I like to fly with O2 on these longer trips just because uh, you feel a heck of a lot better after um, a long flight like that. Even if you're not above 12.5, you know, anything over 10, I'm gonna put it on. So. Other than that, we're gonna weigh all of this up and kind of see where we're at afterwards. And then that'll let us know on what we can bring as far as clothing and computers and all the other non-necessary stuff. So yeah, I went a little overboard. But anyways, guys, stick around and we will get on this. Absolutely amazing 
on how much this will condense down to. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh everything up and see where we're at. Later on in the video, we got boop boop. Later on in the video, we're gonna go and do a test run of getting everything loaded up in the plane, so. That's gonna be a headache. It's gonna be challenging, <laughs> so we'll get Maybe it Maybe I'll sit there with the camera and just watch. And watch me cuss, well, to bleep it out a lot. <laughs> so anyways, guys, uh, well, thanks for tagging along. Hopefully the trip will be worth it. Hopefully we catch oh, a lot of fish. Oh, it's absolutely gonna be Guaranteed the boat breaks first. Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today is the day. We are loading up the plane as we speak. Um, as you can see, you see all the life, uh, life vest in the rear there. So we're about halfway through packing up. Um, a little bit of a change of plans. It, today's Wednesday. I was planning on leaving uh, Friday, but the weather's not looking that great. So I've got a couple friends down in Florida that I'm gonna go hang out with for a couple days and Bree's gonna fly down commercial. Uh, the weather's just not looking great. I'd rather get down there and not um, and not get stuck up here. So uh, I have the extra days off of work. So we decided to go ahead and do that. Another benefit to it is I have a friend of mine flying down from New York in his plane. Uh, and he's got four people and baggage for a week so he asked if i could take some of his baggage down to florida uh to help so he can get a little bit more fuel on the way down so uh with full fuel uh their baggage my baggage i'm gonna be right at 905 um so that leaves me about 80 pounds give or take 87 pounds uh extra of useful load so i'm nowhere near it the problem's been cg so this plane loves to be aft CG and it's really hard to get forward CG on it. So what I did is I just put a, only a little bit of weight in the baggage compartment. It's um, literally reels, life, life uh, vest and fishing rods. So that's a total of, I wanna say it's probably, it's, I gotta do the math, but I think it's around 63 pounds. So that's all that's going in the rear. Everything else is gonna be spread out between the rear seat and the front passenger seat. Um, and that's really gonna help get that CG forward. Uh, the, you know, the weird thing about the C model in particular uh, is that aft CG. Um, I've got plenty of useful load. I've never been anywhere, we're anywhere near gross or max weight, but um, it's always about CG. So we're always moving things around, trying to get more weight up front. But uh, the mid bodies and longer, long bodies don't really have that problem. It's just the short body moonies that can, you know, that can be a challenge. So, um, you know, test flight went well, everything's good. So the next part of the video is I'm flying down to Florida today. I'm not gonna film a whole lot on that. I'll do an intro, but uh, you know, getting from Virginia to Florida, frankly, is just a really boring flight. Uh, there's not a whole lot going on. Once we get from Florida to the Bahamas, that's really, we're, we're gonna film that whole trip over there. It's a lot of fun. Bree will be with me. We all know that's who y'all wanna look at anyways. So. So anyways, guys, thanks for sticking around and uh, part two coming up or actually no part three coming up next. We're already we're already uh, this is this is part two. So um, this may end up being a six part series. So we are going to be down there for a while. So anyways, have a good one. Look forward to seeing you.